Greetings, children. Welcome to St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church this beautiful seventh Sunday after Easter. Pretty soon, I've been saying all these months, I can't wait for you to be here. Well, pretty soon, you're going to be able to be here. We might have to sit a little distanced up here with our masks on, but we'll be able to be in the same place. And if you can't be here with us on the Sunday in two weeks when we are, we'll be back to in-person worship, then you can watch with your families online and we'll be thinking about you, even if it's through a camera, <laughs> as we have all these months. Today, I want to talk to you about trees. Do you know what a tree is? I sure hope so, because we are surrounded by them here in this part of the world. I love trees. My house is in the middle of five acres of woods. I love the woods. And do you know what we know now about trees? All their root systems down in the ground, they're all talking to each other. Not literally talking like we do, but they're sending tree messages to each other. Like here's a very interesting thing. Sometimes... When a tree is in trouble, it will send out a little signal to other trees. Like if a bad bug is coming to eat it or something, it will send this signal to other trees with it. And they will bake something that makes their leaves taste bad to the bug. They'll create that. And the bugs don't eat all their leaves. So it saves the trees. Pretty cool, huh? We're learning so much about trees that we didn't know just a very few years ago, ago. And trees play a very prominent role in the Bible. There are some really significant trees. There's one at the beginning of the Bible when Adam and Eve are told not to eat of the tree, and they do. And there's one at the end of the Bible that it shows what uh, the new Jerusalem will look like, the city that God will build. And in the middle of that city is a huge tree that will straddle a river. It will be on either side of the river and be growing. And it will have fruit that will heal the nations of people. It's a beautiful vision. And right in the middle of the Bible, in Psalm 1, is a psalm about a tree being planted by streams of water. And because people who meditate on God and God's word... Uh, Meditate means people who read the Bible and think about God and want to follow Jesus in their lives. People like that, they are the ones who are like these trees planted by streams of water where they grow deep roots and thrive and blossom and bear fruit. And Jesus tells us we are like those trees. We're supposed to go out and bear fruit too. And the fruit we bear the fruit that grows from us is fruit like love, like care, like helping someone when they're hurt or need some support. Maybe you know somebody that you have, I don't know, delivered a meal to or helped when they were sick. Maybe there are some families or friends that you helped during COVID who maybe had a hard time or had a family member that got sick. There are all kinds of ways that we can show the love of God. And that love is our fruit. Jesus wants us to bear fruit, good fruit for God. So all around us, trees are blooming right now. And pretty soon, fruit will start showing up on the cherry trees and the apple trees. The fruit that we know those trees give us for the goodness of our bodies. And we know in that symbol, in that metaphor, which means when Jesus says we're like a tree that bears fruit, we can remember that like those cherries and apples, we can help nourish other people like that fruit does for us. So anyway, I hope you have a really great week. And when you take a big old bite out of that apple this week, you remember that God loves you and wants you to bear fruit like that apple for other people. Have a great week. Oh, but first, let's pray the prayer together that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Can't wait to see you right here, two weeks. Hope you can join us.